hold holding. You are my only hope, O oh God. And this is only right as this prepares my death. I have good news for you. You don't have to love with your love. Christ will give you his love to love with. You don't have to be strong with your strength. Christ will give you his strength to be strong with. You don't have to be patient with your patience. Christ will give you his patience. You don't have to be understanding with your understanding. Christ will give you his understanding. You don't have to be compassionate with your compassion. Christ will give you his compassion. You don't have to be hopeful with your hope. Christ will give you his hope. You don't have to be merciful with your mercy. Christ will give you his mercy. You don't have to be a servant with your service. Christ will give you his service to serve with. You don't have to believe with your belief. Christ will give you his belief to believe in. Seek the face of God. October Vermont Morning Home. How I yearn for you, Gregory and Catherine. Fire, coals, living room, wooden, resting, interchange, ranging, art, music, poetry, writing, icons, talking about, talking about what happens over and over again. How it happens, it happens again and again. I yearn for that. You alone, O oh God, have the power of peace. Randolph Railroad Depot. How many of your young men placed ahead of civil war others never returned? Generals knew you well. Did your mothers know they're choosing. Little sparks from the tree infested forest above my nest, tumbling down, down the trail. Voices, voices coming, coming upon me from above. Stop at my picnic table and say, what are you doing? 
I'm writing a poem about you. How wonderful to hear your bird-like three and four-year-old notes. Carmel Valley mist, moving mountains, bringing majesty without knowing, bringing innocence. How do you feel? Oh God, when no one looks at your sunrise, what happened? The geese honking, talking, announcing their every morning arrival at the pond exactly at six. 45 a.m. on the dot from formation 55 feet above the pines proclaiming came at 9.30 a.m. today. Is it August vacation? It is. Dead tree perching, high, your sunlit morning song, or white-breasted prouding bird singing. Am I not upon the long nights, sweat days, of those who have lived their root lives before me. It was in Portland, Maine, so much of this occurred of oceans breathing in and out and sorrow much endured. Ring bells of everlasting days and power of God's mighty life in Longfellow's heart that made down the years a long, long light. Let the beauty of God give you your soul. The fog is very deep on Lake Champlain, morning steep upon my thoughts. In every way stay the rising of my sense of who I am against the violence that has driven me from myself. The flags hung sullen 
at the graveyard of Wallingford. As the sun whistled brightly in the midday silence rang. As generations lay, so a young man could stand beside his car and work important matters with his mate. I am held caught up in the stunning strength, reviving embrace of the beauty of nature. No wonder they call it mother. For some losses in life, you, O oh Lord, are the only remedy. Remember, human beings are fragile. Not every oak tree is the same. There are unexpected turns. For beauty brings in your wounds. Thank you. Thank you.